All right, we're going to begin our fifth grade entry math lesson 4.3, Evaluate Numerical Expressions. I can evaluate a numerical expression using the order of operations. Spark your learning. Mr. North's music club writes a song together. Each verse of the song has six lines, and each chorus has two lines. If the song has four verses and the chorus in the choruses, how many lines does the song have in all? Okay, so they want us to draw a visual model to show the problem and explain your reasoning. Okay, so one verse has how many lines? Six. So Six lines, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's one verse, right? And then how many lines does a chorus have? Okay, so no, a chorus is how many? Two. So one, two. So and this is one chorus, right? All right. So each one though would be what? They have four verses and choruses. So we would take what? Four times, how many do we have total? We have six here and two here. So four times eight equals 32, what? What's my label? Lines. Build understanding. A club is making a music video. A group of 12 singers perform the first verse. Three different groups of six singers perform the other three verses. The numerical expression 12 plus 3 times 6 models the situation. How many singers are making the music video? So which operations are modeled in the numerical expression? So what is being modeled or what is being shown there? Operations. So oper operations refer to addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. So which addition and multiplication? Okay. When you evaluate the numerical expression, which operation should be done first? How do you know? So what should we do first? Should we add or multiply first? So we should multiply first. Because of what? Okay, and that's what it says over here in this little box that we just what read, right? All right, letter C. Describe how to evaluate twelve plus three times six. So first we're going to so first take three times six, which equals what? Eighteen, comma, then add then add what? Well, Letter E, evaluate the numerical expression and explain what your answer means in this situation. So we said 18 plus 12, which is what? 30. So there's 30 what? Different singers, right? Okay, so that's what our label does, is it explains what the 30 represents, right? And then how many singers are making the music video? So 30 singers. Okay, 
So up here, if we wanted on live to get a little bit more information, we could say 30 different singers um, are going to perform, right? Step it out. The club members spend four hours rehearsing and two hours filming a music video for three Saturdays. The numerical expression four plus two times three can be used to model the situation. Rewrite four plus two times three using repeated addition, then evaluate. Okay, so basically we would need to write this how many times? Three times. So we're going to write that this is four plus two. And then do I need to add it again? Okay, plus four plus two. And don't forget to use my parentheses to keep everything together, right? Okay, and then that's gonna get us what? So four plus two is what? Six plus six plus six, which equals 18. Rewrite four plus two times three using the distributed property to evaluate. So that is where you plug the three into the numbers in the parentheses, okay? So we would have four times three plus two times three. What is four times three? Twelve plus two times three is six. So do both of those get us 18? Okay, so this one, A, we just did repeated addition. B, we did distributed property. So distributed property is where you plug it through, right? Okay, so use the order of operations to evaluate four plus two times three. How many hours do the club members spend making the video? So according to order of operations, you do what first? Parentheses first, so four plus two is six, and then times three equals 18. So what's our label? 18 hours. Check understanding. Irving evaluates 12 divided by 2 plus 4 plus 6 times 3 by dividing 12 divided by 2, and then multiplying 6 times 3. Then he adds from left to right. Explain his errors. So what should Irvin have done first? So what should Irvin have done first, guys? So first, Irvin should have taken Two plus four to get what? Six. To get six, right? And I'm going to put that in a box because that's going to be a number I'm going to use, right? Then he should have, what should he have done next? Have taken. Six times three to get what? Eighteen. To get eighteen. That's another number we're using, right? Next, he should take what? No. Twelve divided by six. Twelve divided by six to get two plus plus what? Eighteen, which equals twenty. Evaluate the numerical expression four times fifteen minus seven plus eight. So 15 minus 7 is what? So we do that first, right? Okay, because the order of operations. So what is that? 8, right? Okay. 
So then I'm going to do 8 or, or 4 times 8, right? Which equals 32. And then plus 8, which equals 40. Okay. The next one, 12 times 12 plus 7 times 8 plus 5. Now, there is no parentheses, but can you add them so you know what to do first? Yes. Okay. So what are we going to do first? We have to do all of the multiplications first, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and put 12 times 12 in parentheses and 7 plus 8. Oh, times 8. Yes, yeah, sorry. Not plus. So 12 times 12 is plus, because I still have to put that symbol in there, right? 7 times 8 is 56. 56. And then plus that 5, right? So what is 144 plus 56? 200, and then 200 plus 5 equals 205. On your own, model with mathematics, Ms. Garcia has 120 comics books. She gives 15 to each of her three nephews, then buys four more. Write and evaluate a numerical expression that describes the number of comic books she now has. So, how many does she start with? 120. Okay, and then she's giving them away, right? So, that would be what? Minus. Okay, or subtracting. Okay, then she gives 15 to each of her three nephews. So, what are we going to have to do? 15 times 3 in parentheses. And why are we doing the parentheses? Because it's multiplication and order of operation, right? Yeah. Okay. Then she buys four more. So what am I doing? Plus four because she's getting some more. Now, sometimes this works out in this way to go in direct order of the way it's written, right? Okay. Now, however, sometimes we get some word problems that it does not work to go in direct order. And we found that out on um, a previous lesson, right? Okay, so you have to be very careful of what order you put it in because the order does sometimes determine what you get from the answer, right? Okay, so just be very careful. This time it worked out okay to do it this way. Evaluate the numerical expression. So 35 minus 5 times 12 um, minus 7. So 12 minus 7, I'm doing that first? Yes. Why? Because it's in parentheses. So what is that? 5. Then what do I do next? 5 times 5. 5 times 5 because that is multiplication, right? So this would be our next one. So 35 minus 25 equals... Ten. So 10 is our answer, correct? All right. Next one, 12 plus 6 divided by 3 plus 3. So we do not have parentheses. So should I put my parentheses? Yes. So then I identify what I need to do first. So what do I need to do first? Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this. 12 plus what is 6 divided by 3? 2. Plus 3 equals 17. Next one, 18 divided by 6 plus 12 minus 1. So what am I going to do first? So I'm going to go ahead and put a parentheses around that. So I'm telling myself that's what I do first. 18 divided by 6 is 3 plus 12 minus 1. So what is 12 plus 3? Plus, or 15 minus 1 is 20. Okay, next one. 3 plus 9 times 8 minus 4. So, I'm going to put parentheses. What am I going to do first? 9 times 8. So, 3 plus what? 72 equals what? Equals 75 minus 4 equals 75. 